Have you ever been moderately bearish on a stock, index, or ETF, but think buying puts is too expensive and selling short is too risky? If you are moderately bearish, there's an option strategy that allows you to benefit when the underlying drops while reducing your cost and your risk. The bear put spread accomplishes both. Here's how. To create a bear put spread, you buy a put option and simultaneously sell another put with a lower strike price with both puts sharing the same underlying and expiration date. For example, you could buy a put with a strike at or near where the stock is trading while selling another put option that has a lower strike. Note that this trade consists of two separate option positions, one long option and one short option that should be executed at the same time. It's most favorable that you place the trade as a spread order to ensure the execution of both options as one trade. Let's look at an example of a bear put spread. XYZ stock is currently trading for $65 per share, and you think it's poised for a drop in price. You buy a 65 strike put with 45 days until expiration for $5, which equals $500 of premium. As part of the spread, you sell a 60-strike put of the same expiration for $3, which equals $300 of premium. You've now bought the XYZ 6560 bear put spread for a net debit of $2. The premium you paid, $200 per spread, is the most you can lose in this example. What XYZ does will determine whether you are profitable or not. Let's look at the various outcomes with the stock at expiration. Suppose that you were right on your forecast and XYZ drops to $50 per share at expiration. With the stock at $50 at expiration, your long 65 strike put is appreciating and is worth $15, and the short 60 strike put is now worth $10. When the long 65 and the short 60 puts are closed, you can see the spread reached its maximum value of $5 minus the $2 cost of the spread, thus giving the spread a maximum profit of $3 or $300 per spread. Now suppose that XYZ is trading lower at $63 at expiration. At this point, your long 65 strike put is worth $2, while your short 60 strike put expires worthless. Netting these two values, the spread is worth exactly what you paid for it, $2. In other words, with XYZ at $63 at expiration, the 65 put has a $2 value, so you'd break even. As XYZ drops and settles lower than $63, you move beyond your break-even level and your spread starts to make a profit. At expiration, if XYZ is trading at $65 or higher, the 65 put will expire worthless. The 60 put is also out of the money and worthless. That being the case, you'd lose your entire investment of $200. While your profit is limited, the good news is that no matter how high the stock rises above $65, your risk is limited to $200. To learn more about the bear put spread and other strategies, visit the OIC website at optionseducation.org.